Assalamualaikum and a very good evening to all. Uh, today we will study about uh, point load test. So the purpose of uh, the point load test is to determine the strength of rock. Okay, so this test can be conducted to due to multiple type of rock, uh, be it uh, sedimentary rock, metamorphic rock, or igneous igneous type of rock. Okay, so. The, before we start our testing, first we need to determine the properties of the rock. There are three main components of the testing. The first one is the length, the second one is the depth, and third one is the width of the, of the sample that we are going to use for the testing. So, the width, first the length, the length of the rock starts from the center from here to here that is the length and then secondly the depth the depth of the rock is is this part from this part to this part so that is the depth and then uh, thirdly the width uh, for different type of rock rock has different type of width so for for example for this sample we got the first width the top width and then the second width so Two of the width, uh, we will add and then we will subtract to get the average width of the sample. Okay. So as I mentioned before, there are three properties that you need to consider before conducting the uh, point of test. First, the length, the depth, and the width. So as you can see, from this rock, the length is from the middle of the rock until the end of the rock. Uh, for, for this rock, the length is 55 mm and then for the depth the depth is from here to here it is 30 mm and then for the width from, uh, this width and this width the, first, the, the longest width is 55 mm and the short width is 45 mm after you mix, after you add and then you get 50 mm uh, average so after you calculated all the, the the parameters, there are three conditions that must be met to ensure the sample that you use is 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 competent for the testing. The first condition, the depth, it must be less than eighty five and not less than 50, 15 mm. This is in mm. So for our first condition for this rock sample, the depth is 30 mm. So the first condition is met. So for the second condition, uh, the depth uh, when divided by the width must be less than 1 and not more than 0 0.3. So for this sample, the depth is 30 divided by 50. Uh, wait. Zero point six. Uh, the answer is zero point six. So the second condition is met. So the second condition is okay. So for the third condition, the 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 half of the depth must be less than the length. So for this sample, the length is 55 mm and half of the depth is 30 divided uh, times 0 0.5 is equal to 15. So the third condition is also okay. Okay, so when all these conditions has been met, so this rock can be, uh, this rock is passed to be tested for the point load test. Okay, so this is the rock that we have calculated all the properties. So we mark the top side of the rock and the bottom side of the rock. 
So this point will be put inside the testing testing apparatus of the point of test. Okay. So before you conduct the the point of point of test, you need to have the proper attire for doing the testing. Uh, the most important thing is you need to protect your face if the 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 effect of the point of test is very severe. So first, you need to put uh, the 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 point that you have marked inside inside the point of test apparatus. When when the when the rock has been clamped into the apparatus, you will receive. That's it. Okay, and then you you tear the the apparatus to zero. Right, and then you press pick. Okay. And then. And then you crank the apparatus until the rock breaks. The unit of the point of test is 28.85 kN. So to ensure that the sample is is correctly broken, the rock must be split in half. Yes. It, uh, if the if the point if the 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 point of the rock is cheap, so it, it doesn't then the kira. Tak dia ambil kira. Dia mesti belah dua. Basically begitulah. Kalau macam ada cheap ke ada tak boleh ambil data tu. Mesti ambil data yang pecah. Cannot be accepted. Yes, thank you. <laughs>